Hi, welcome. Simon here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be installing a water cooling, super chill, coarse air, IQH100i Elite LCD XT. All right, so that is the computer. I removed the broken heat sink. Uh, that was the water cooling. The pump wasn't working. So the temperature goes up to about 100 Celsius. It's very high and it needs to be changed out and this is the video i'll be doing it and show you how to do it all right so let's take a look at what i have in there so there's a uh, water cooling in there that is the radiator we need to start installing the fan on that radiator <clears throat> let me go ahead and move this on the side kind of give you uh, a little bit idea on how to do that all right so let's sorry about the angle on the camera there's only so much space i have here to do the recording and so i'm just going to quickly walk you through that is the uh the heat sink uh the uh, there's a thermal paste is already there okay so let's go ahead and start installing the fan that would be the first step i like to do all right, so the fan, you want to blow and exhaust the heat away from the computer. So that is the radiator. I'll be exhausting the heat off of the, the top on the computer. So I'll be installing this direction. That is the intake, meaning that that fan here on this side will be sucking in the air. And then the back here would be the exhaust. You can see the back has, has the wiring in it. Okay, one fan, and that would be the second fan. So the long screws would be going from the inside out, okay? So there would be the long screws going in. And you would have to install eight of them in total. <clears throat> okay once you have all of eight screws installed mounting into the radiator uh, that is the reservoir that hosts the uh, liquid cooling and cools down and the fan would exhaust the heat out all right so once you have that all installed the next step is to go ahead and transfer it to your desktop. All right, here's the desktop here. Let me go ahead and kind of position the, uh, the heat sink on this side. I'll be having that heat sink, the back here facing towards the end of the, the casing. All right, you can do it this way or you can do it this way. Uh, doesn't really matter let me do it this way better because i do have the exhaust fan in the back this exhaust fan it might have to take out some of the space so let me put it this direction here 
All right, on top of my desktop case here, uh, you are going to align them and have the screw installed. And for this reason, we'll be using the shorter one here. That is the shorter screw. And that goes to the front. You might need to have a washer in between. So that would be the washer that we need to have it and have the screw in it. And that goes to the, to the front of your desktop. Okay. I'll be getting one or two in first so that you can hold that heat sink. So there's one here. Having a second one here. So here you can actually move it up and down to the side where you want it to be. A uh, certain case of desktop case is smaller, so some of them are larger. So you might want to move things around. Give yourself a little bit of a room to work with other stuff. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see a little bit. I know that this camera angle is too small uh, but you get the idea so I'm having the heatsink here and then in the front I'll be installing the uh, um, the screws holding down the heatsink let me move this aside okay you need to get a couple more of this screw with the washer. Hopefully you guys can see it here. So that is the top of the desktop where I will be exhausting the heat from inside out. I am only doing six screws total. You can do eight of them, but I do not see a point of having eight. Uh, six screws is enough to hold that radiator. Okay, that is the final screws. Let me get it in. All right, so I have six screws holding down the radiator and the fan is already mounted earlier. Now the next step is to install the heatsink and I'll be positioned the heatsink like such, meaning that uh, the heatsink would go into this direction here, like such, okay. And then all the wiring would be on the other side of it. Okay, before we be doing that, the next step is to go ahead and get the right mounting bracket. On the label, it says Intel. You need to use the Intel for the right uh, bracket here. So look for Intel, but if you have the AMD, they should have a separate back here that says AMD, meaning the AMD CPU. <clears throat> All right, for Intel, go ahead and peel that little uh, tape here. This, this double-sided tape is to kind of help you holding it down on the other side of it. Uh, you might want to adjust the, the length of the screw, but for my case, it should be okay. I'm going to adjust it on the other side of my so you probably have to adjust it on the other side you see that the screw is already mounted it up okay the next step is to install what is my CPU I think this is the uh, um, 
guys this is the 1200 generation if i'm not mistaken 1700 i think this is the uh 1200 if i'm not mistaken let's see Hmm, I kind of forgot what is the CPU bracket is, but I do have a, a video of it. Let's see if I can pull it up. I think it's 1200 if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's see. Uh, yep, LGA one two zero zero. So my CPU is actually LGA one two zero zero. That is the uh, the the bracket is. So you need to find the right mounting bracket. So that is that. So let me just tighten it up like such. You need to. Put this bracket here. Do not forget your thermal paste. I have the thermal paste applied on the CPU already. So I'm okay with that. You should apply thermal paste before you put them together. I'm just using my hand to tighten it up. <clears throat> All right, once you're done with that process, you then pretty much ready to install. That is the heat sink. And here they do have some of the thermal paste already applied to it. So it's, which is easier for my purpose and the next thing is to let this thing sit on top okay make sure it's sitting on top nice and tight and you're gonna have the screw that is the nut and then that is the uh, the screw that gonna hold on to that heat sink I do not tighten everything at one time what I'm doing right now is just to fasten and secure the heat sink and I'll come back and use a screwdriver and tighten everything up. Okay. All right now what you want to do is work your way around the screw the nut here because you do not want to tighten one corner you do not want to push tighten one screw and then followed by the rest you want to keep going in circle until you get the firmness the tightness all together evenly you want it to be even because if you just tighten at one side you might just push all the thermal paste to one corner so you do not want to have that right you just want to have evenly sprayed thermal paste being pushed in now you have done with that process the next is to pretty much for the uh, cabling so here on your motherboard you do see it says pump fan pump fan meaning that you should be connecting it to your um to the uh to the uh, the heat sink, okay. You do not want to connect it to to the other side of it. 
that is the system let's go ahead and connect the system here okay that is the usb to bring the power so i'll be connecting the usb on the other side of it to bring the power to power up um, the pump and i'll be hiding this cable here in the back And that is the USB. USB probably go right there. On the motherboard, you do have a USB here. So let's power it up on this side. Okay. And then do not forget the two fans. So this two fan here has cable, right? Remember? And that cable, you want to make sure they are connected to the other side so that is for this fan here i'm going to have it underneath and then this one here is for this fan so you have two wires right one on each so this is the uh, the second one fan here. So one of them is for the fan, which is this here. And the other one is for the lighting, the RGB. Okay, one for fan, one for lighting. Okay, flip it around. Okay, that is the pump. The, the pump is a split off connector that I have that comes from the pump. So let's go ahead and connect the fan. So that is the two fan connector. That two are for the fan. All right, that looks like this. So you want to connect it like such. For the top and the bottom fan and then you have the light which is this one here the single single stuff so it looks like the light is already full i can only have one so let's connect this one here mm -hmm. I need to find for another lighting. It looks like it's already filled up. Okay, so that is for that. And that should be it. I'm going to be closing this down. And there you go. So hopefully this video is helpful. I know that the angle on the camera is not great. I cannot really explain everything. But um, yeah, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye now.